Good morning, everybody, and welcome to morning prayer on Friday, the 24th of April. Let's pray. God, we just want to give you this time this morning. and We, we thank you that we have this opportunity to come together. And uh, may we hear from you this morning through your word. And as we pray together, um, may you bless each and every one of us. Amen. So today's passage is from Psalm 77, and it's verses 10 to 12. So I'll just read it. Then I thought, to this I will appeal, the years when the Most High stretched out his right hand. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on your mighty deeds. And this week I've been, I have to say, I've actually been really, really encouraged and impacted by this verse. Because uh, as you'll know from, from, from hearing morning prayers, um, the previous ones this week, the verses before verse 10 are not so positive. You know, they're quite, they're, they're, uh, they come from a really desperate place. You know, um, questions like, will the Lord re reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Will his unfailing love, his, has his unfailing love vanished forever? You know, these are not, uh, they're heavy questions. They're heavy questions. They're not light. They're not um, just wondering, oh, has his love vanished forever? You know, they're, they're heavy questions. And, uh, and then he gets, and we get to, to verse 10 and the tone changes. And the, the, one of the things that really, really stri strikes me is this phrase, I will remember. And it, uh, it's, uh, it says it a couple of times in verse 11 particularly. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remem remember your miracles of long ago. And um, choosing to remember um, God's faithfulness in a time where you don't feel quite that that in that same place, or, or feel that same positivity, or feel that same uh, encouragement, is a real discipline. During this lockdown period, obviously our our children, our two oldest, are are, are school age, and uh, they're not in school, just like millions of other kids at the minute. Um, and one of the things that my family very kindly have been helping us do is they've been you know calling in on on zoom or whatsapp or whatever and um they've been doing little lessons with my my kids and uh but one of the, one of the things my my mum decided to do instead of instead of just a kind of lesson where she teaches something or other she decided with my daughter she's going to um every week she's going to to tell her a story of something that god has done in her life and in my family's life, uh, in, our, in our history. And uh, it's fascinating seeing the impact of the stories on my daughter, but also the impact of the stories and remembering the stories on my mum. In this time, that's a source of encouragement to her to remember, God did this. And not only that, but that's the same God. That's the same God. And it's kind of like when we remember, it's kind of like lifting up above the fog of this kind of situation that so many people are finding um, and, and their own emotional response to it, and, and uh, which I, is, is a reality. But coming out, up out of the fog and seeing the bigger picture of what God has done and is doing and realizing it's the same God that we worship now. He hasn't changed. Um, things have changed are changing around us all the time but he hasn't changed and that's so so encouraging but it's a discipline to do it it's a discipline to remember it's not easy anyway I'm gonna pray now um, and particularly for people who perhaps are struggling to remember what God has done right now Lord we thank you for this encouragement um, it's certainly impacted me this week. And I just want to pray right now for anybody who's listening um, who has struggled to lift themselves somehow up out of the situation that we're in and uh, has got bogged down and feels he the heaviness 
of the situation. Um, I really pray that you will stir all of our hearts to remember the things that you have done already and the things that we know that we that, that have have been you in our lives. Uh, may we remember them. Help us to be disciplined in remembering it because that's that's going to be something that that's really, really helps us through this time. Um, and keep, yeah, keep, I pray, God, that we will, we will remember those things and be able to see what you are doing also. Amen. And we'll just finish by saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God bless and have a lovely day.